वेलकम टू ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ डिसम्बर्स गॉली बेसिंग सुप्रीम फादर द क्रिएटर इज टीचिंग अस अ मेथड इमेजिन द माइंड ऑफ द क्रिएटर इमेजिन हाउ गॉड मस्ट बी हैविंग कंट्रोल ओवर ऑल द फाइव एलिमेंट्स यू सी यू सी द कंप्लीट वर्ल्ड वर्किंग अलॉन्ग विद हिम एज पर हिज गाइडेंस एंड डायरेक्शन दैट्स वॉट वी हर्ड राइट द स्टार्स एंड द मून एंड द प्लानट्स हिज थॉट्स आर सो पावरफुल दैट दे आर जस्ट दे इन दिस कंप्लीट स्पेस द सो पावरफुल थॉट्स he is so stable and powerful that none of these become unstable but what about us we are his creation we are his children in certain religions that was that's what we call us children or bande or his creation or we are his students if we call him as wahi guru or chelas so if he is so strong and powerful what about us shouldn't we also be powerful enough shouldn't we also be strong enough that's what we're going to learn about in this today's blessing that if we overcome certain vices certain negative traits certain impure traits within us we will be able to overcome anything in the world so let's see what are these troubling things which are actually troubling us which we need to know about god says may you be a true tapasvi and make the snake of vices a garland around your neck snake of vices where have you seen these snakes haven't you seen these snakes around the neck of the deity the subtle deity or the subtle meditative form of souls who are doing meditation and remembering and awakening the third eye of knowledge that means the soul consciousness so god says the five vices are like a poisonous snake for people five vices means lust anger greed ego and attachment these are the five main vices which are in everybody's mind and they're troubling them on a daily basis and in brahma kumaris we wash out or we quarantine or we devirus or we use an antivirus form of meditation and knowledge so that these viruses are out of our mind imagine lust out of your mind anger ego greed attachment how peaceful you will you be so this is the way of learning and becoming wiseless so god is saying that the snake which has been shown around the tapasvi form of deity shankar is exactly what we are supposed to do it's not that you take a snake and put it around your neck it's about overcoming or being in control of the five five vices then god says but for you yogi and tapasvi souls this snake becomes a garland around your neck This is why they have portrayed a snake as a garland around the neck in the memorial of the bodiless and tapasvi shankar form of you brahmins so if we start meditating if you start meditating you'll also see that you are able to control the five vices and when you are in control of the five vices as compared to somebody who in the same situation gets angry but you are not getting angry who is somebody who gets frustrated in a situation but you are not getting frustrated that means that snake is in control god then says the snake becomes a stage for you to dance on in happiness they have shown this as a sign of dependency that means that you are dependent on those five vices the world is dependent actually on the five vices to feel happy you put somebody down out of ego you feel happier but god says that's not true happiness that's not a long lasting happiness so that is a dependent happiness that means i am dependent upon making somebody feel bad so that i can feel good that's like taking revenge cause is that's a snake within you that's a poison within you ego is a poison that's why god says the snake becomes a stage for you to dance on in happiness that means we have to dance over the snake means we have to dance over the five vices we have to meditate and make the five vices in our control god then says they have shown this as a sign of dependency your spiritual stage is physical stage our spiritual stage is a physical stage we are in this physical platform in the we are in this physical body you as a soul are sitting in your physical body and listening to this through your physical ears i as a soul i am speaking through my mouth of this physical body and seeing this screen through the physical eyes but as a soul i should be in control of the five vices not the other way around then god says when you have this victory over the five vices you will then be called a true tapasvi so being in this physical body we have to do tapasya that means tapasya means to focus on certain qualities 
or let's say certain programs and make sure that the virus programs don't upload into our mental system. How do you do that is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. You should go ahead and join that and learn this for one hour on a daily basis. Imagine just one hour and you are in control of the five vices which are like a snake in your life and those snakes can actually make your life miserable. Your relationships miserable, financial situations miserable, health miserable. Now if you want to overcome these three aspects and become a master of these then the five vices have to be controlled. Do go ahead and learn it with a Som Shanti.